Hey guys, it's Carrie, and I am back with another chat video. And first of all, I want to wish you guys a huge Merry Christmas. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas day and that you got everything you wanted, or if not, maybe next year. So, uh, again, hope you guys have all had a blessed and wonderful day. Um, I've got a few things to talk about. I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit shorter for anybody that actually watches it on Christmas Day because I know you're doing other things, but regardless of all that, if you choose to watch some YouTube, um, thank you for stopping by. So, But I am going to try to keep it a little bit shorter. So without further ado, let's get into this chat. So this is going to be, I think, an eBay heavy chat. If you're interested in that, great. If not, sorry. I will mention a few other things. But so last week, I almost said last Saturday because that's when I filmed the video, I talked about um, uploading or listing my St. Laurent pumps on eBay. Those sold Saturday night, but the buyer didn't pay. And it was so frustrating because she'd asked me a couple questions and um, I was trying to do my best to answer her questions. At first she didn't seem sure about that. She, she wanted the shoes, but she wasn't sure about the size. And so I explained, you know, this is the size I normally wear. I'm a, like a seven and a half. These shoes are 38s, which some people say are eight size eight in the U.S. Some people say they're seven and a half. They, I think they're somewhere in between those really. Um, but anyway, regardless of all that, she thought she was going to have to get them stretched. So she asked me if I would take a different amount or a lower amount because she was going to have to pay to get them stretched. And, said, and I told her I would take X number of dollars and she said okay, made me an offer for that amount and never paid for them. And so they finally um, released them back to me to um, be placed back on eBay for listing that they're now available. But what was so frustrating about the whole thing, no, number one, it's not getting paid for the item when somebody buys it, but there were five or six watchers on that item. And if you know anything about eBay, number one, you want somebody to buy something. Number two, if you've got watchers, that's really good. Well, all of those fell off because of the fact that this person didn't pay for them. And then the uh, unpaid assistant turned on and um, finally released them back to me. Now it's like starting all over with this listing. So frustrating. So very disappointed about that. And I need to remember to block her on eBay. Not that I think she'll buy anything from me again, but anytime somebody doesn't pay for an item, I block them. Just what I do so they can't uh, do this to me again because I am not going to remember everybody's usernames. It's just impossible on eBay. So, um, anyway, doing that. I Last weekend, I think I uploaded 13 items to eBay. Then I went back through my closet this past Friday night and pulled out a bunch more stuff and I did it again Saturday morning. So I was uploading stuff Friday night and I've got to upload stuff today on Christmas Eve. Um, and I may still be doing some of it on Christmas Day after all the festivities. But um, it's just I got a bunch of stuff that I just, I mean, I did a huge closet clear out that I'm just not going to wear this stuff anymore. It's stuff I haven't worn in a long time. It's stuff that doesn't fit. Stuff I look at it and go on. I need to let go of that. So I'm hoping a bunch of stuff sells. If you guys want to check my listings out, you are no obligation, under no obligation to buy anything. But if you want to look at it, and if you choose to buy something, I do link my eBay page below. It's in almost all of my video videos in the description box below. Um, so if you want to do that, go ahead and uh, check those out if you want to. So. Anyway, one other thing that I wanted to talk about, I don't think I really have any more eBay stories. I sold, let's see, not including the shoes that I didn't get paid for. I think I sold four items this week, three or four items, so I'm happy about that. Oh, one other thing, then I'll get into um, something else. I made a very difficult decision, and I'm not 100% certain about the decision. So I did put a very high price on that and it's because I'm not sure yet, but I decided sort of to sell my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 bag and it is in the Damier Azure print. I love that bag. I'm almost positive it was my first ever designer bag and I feel like I love the bag, number one, but I feel like I've kind of, 
I don't know if outgrown it is the proper term to say, but I kind of feel like I've outgrown it. And I'm wanting to invest in different designer bags in 2017. And so there's a couple issues with bag. Number one, I love the print. It's my favorite print, but it's definitely a spring summer print. And it's a bag that doesn't get used. It, I don't use it all year round. Second, it's um, like a bottomless pit, basically. And sometimes when I first pack it, so to speak, it's easy to find stuff. But as the day goes along, stuff gets jumbled up in it. And it, I find it very difficult to find stuff. So I did put, again, a very high price on it because I'm still just not 100% sure. But it's in great shape. And if you want to take a look at it, it's, you know, it's in the description. But not that, but my eBay um pages in the description box so I may end up lowering the price later once I've fully committed to selling it but if for some reason that anybody buys it at the price I have it listed at you know I will definitely sell it for that price but we shall see I just thought I would speak from the heart today and kind of tell you that it's one item that I'm on the fence about I'm trying to become less emotionally attached to my things they're just stuff and I'm done really well with my clothing it's and some of my shoes it's just harder for my handbags so especially my first designer handbag so anyway I'm gonna move on past that I am gonna film a what I got for Christmas video and I'm planning on putting that up on Monday if all goes according to plan and YouTube doesn't act crazy so it will go up instead of my normal outfit of the day just thought I would tell you guys that if you want to see what I got for Christmas and um, let's see what else happened this week just looking at my notes right here um, oh I was gonna say also if you want to let me know what you guys got for Christmas I would love to hear about that as well I just remember to read that for my notes <laughs> You can tell this is not rehearsed by any stretch of the imagination. Um, we had some freezing fog this past week in Nashville. And this is a, a thing that has prob probably always been around, but I've only noticed them talking about it the past two, three years. It was so scary one morning. I didn't really think a whole lot about it. I had gone to the post office and the street seemed fine. And then I ended up getting on this other road and this person almost spun out in front of me they didn't do a complete like circle it was more like I guess you call it a fishtail I think that's what it's called where the car just does this kind of like that scared me to death because it happened right in front of me and then I came up on another wreck that was a horrible wreck on further down and then I just heard about wrecks all over the city because of this freezing fog so what happens is I'm sure you guys already know but the fog will it's so cold that the moisture in there the fog freezes and it falls down onto the streets and causes ice so I hate that um let's see um oh this is gonna like I said heavy on the ebay so in last week's chat video I talked about listing the sweater that I was wearing I did list it but I wanted to say I washed it first in case anybody was grossed out about that I forgot to say yes I did wash that first so I thought I would throw that in there in case anybody was wondering um I think that is about it because I said it, it is heavy on the eBay conversation and this week. I'm going to go ahead and get the puppies now and show you guys. But before I get them, I thought I would tell you a little story first and then just kind of quickly show them. So I was going to defy, defy the vet's orders and take them for a walk because I thought that all I've got left is the rabies shots. It's not really likely that they're going to be bitten by a rabid animal. It could happen, but I don't think it's that likely. So um, I enlisted my mom's help because they the puppies are polar opposites in personalities. Coco is so hyper, and Chanel is like very calm, doesn't move around a lot. Um, so I, I needed help taking them for a walk. So we had a little leash incident, and it was a complete accident. My mom felt horrible. She was going to walk Chanel since Chanel is calmer and my mom needs to go a lot slower. So my mom accidentally dropped the retractable leash when it was connected to Chanel. It retracted back, it hit Chanel, and scared her to death, and now she is scared to death of the leash and her harness. And the only thing I can think of is to get basically get her a new leash and harness, and I may not get a retractable one for her, um, so I don't want her to be afraid of it, but right now she's scared to death. I tried to take them out again 
I'm just going to do it one at a time. So Coco went for a walk on Friday and she loved it. She had the best time. Then I was going to take Chanel. Chanel got so scared when she saw the harness and leash. She ran and hid. So if anybody else has any other ideas, I would love to hear them. But the only thing I can think about now is basically to go get new ones so she doesn't have to see the old ones. But um, she will still see Coco's and that may still scare her. So I don't, I don't know what to do other than that. But if you got any tips, let me know. So right now I'm just going to go get the puppy so you guys can see them and then we'll end the chat. I'm back and I have the puppies and here's Chanel right here and so she's doing really well other than the leash incident that scared her to death and if you hear any whining that's Coco right there <laughs> she wants down so much um, anyway so here's Chanel she's doing really good and she's pretty calm right now so again other than the leash incident she was fine let me show you Coco and I've got to do this quick because they want down so much and Coco is so hyper right now. <laughs> this is traditional, how it is almost all the time. So the only time Coco isn't hyper is when she gets really sleepy. And <laughs> anyway, this happens a lot. <laughs> and she's so funny about it. And uh, when I took her for a walk yesterday, on, or I should say on Friday since it's uh, Sunday for you guys, but um, she was so excited and she just ran and ran around and loved it so much. But here she is. And she's doing really good. Let me show you how long they are just because I feel like this is traditional that we need to do this now. But here is Coco and how long she is. Right there. Let me show you Chanel. Here is she. Right now it's kind of hard to tell the difference in their sizes, but I can do it when I pick them up because Chanel is still a bit heavier than her sister. And she's always going to be the bigger, uh, the bigger dog. So anyway, here they are. I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, have a Merry Christmas. Bye, guys.